You're watching patinagemagazine.com. Hi, Mr. Jackson. It's an honor to be here with you, and I'm very glad you're giving us a few minutes so we can actually chat a little bit. I would like to know, um, what still drives you to skate after all these years? I think it's the love of the sport. That's all I can say. I, I enjoy figure skating, I enjoy skating, and I feel very relaxed when I have my skates on. In your opinion, what has changed the most in figure skating in the last 40 years? Well, the big thing in my day was the, the school figures, the circle eights, and they counted 60% in competitions. Today, they're completely out. It, we used to think of them as the ABCs of skating. And now we just have the jumps and the spins and the footwork, and uh, the skaters are really doing quite a good job on that, and it gives them a little bit more time to practice off-ice uh, training because in my day, we used to skate maybe two to three hours of figures to every one hour of free skating. So we just didn't have the time to do the off-ice. In fact, we didn't even know about it. Well, um, if it was up to you, where do you think you would redirect figure skating? Because uh, because of the new system, uh, the skating has changed a lot in the course of the last five years. And if it was up to you, what would you actually do to improve skating? Well, I think the skating has improved, you know, the jumps that the skaters are doing. But everyone looks the same because they have the same... Uh, rules they have to do certain things and uh, they haven't got the freedom to skate and do some of their personal uh, um, I guess maneuvers that they would like to do uh, the other th but I think that uh, it's, it's been pretty good the judging I'd like to see it a little bit more open in fact I would have the uh, all the judges that are members of the ISU to have their own uh, organization and be able to police themselves not represent a, a country but just represent good judging for skating and uh, if they didn't do a good job they'd be policing themselves and we'd have the, the judging that would be uh, very fair I think there there's a lot of good judges out there but uh, by policing themselves and not having a connection to any of the countries I think we'd see possibly some uh, better results I know you've been sick um, would you like to talk to us a little bit about your experience well, to tell you the truth, I had prostate cancer. I have my tests every year, and uh, last year they found out that I had it, and uh, so I took the uh, uh, radiation and I took uh, hormone therapy, and fortunately I caught it early so that uh, I was able to skate throughout that time. I was a little bit tired. I'm still a little bit tired because it's been less than a year since I've been off the radiation, but it looks like I've got 100% uh, clear. So there shouldn't, I, I think I've beat it, but you know, they can't really say until five years down the road. But uh, I feel great and I still am able to skate and I've still been invited to skate shows. And so by skating the hope, <laughs> it gives me hope. It was a pleasure to have you with us today, and it was great to see you skate again. So I hope things are going to go great for you, and we'll get to see you skate plenty again. Thanks for having me, and uh, I'm sure everyone will get a chance to see us if the show comes to town. Hope. Thank you very much.